Okay, for the hell of it, I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I've been using all this time. Uh, please excuse the mess. Hopefully you won't see it at all, because I'm going to strategically shoot so as to minimize the view of my room. I'm a notorious slob. What can I say? Um, anyway, here you go. This is the Amscope M600A. It has a uh, mechanical stage in three dimensions, which is lovely. And, uh, which actually is a 12 watt illuminator. Um, AB condenser, I believe is how you say it. Completely adjustable. Has, um, up and down adjustment knob for the position of the condenser lens, which is really important. I never knew how much. Uh, coaxial major focus and fine focus, coarse focus, I mean, and fine focus. Uh, over yonder on this side, this is the uh, X and Y controls for the uh, stage. And uh, locking clamp, spring-loaded clamp for the slide to hold it in place. I'm not going to demo the controls for you because I have a target that I don't want to lose track of. And I mean to do a time exposure on uh, its colony of uh, bacteria on one of my slides. And uh, there's the four objective lenses there. Um, three standard acromat objectives and one oil immersion objective, the extreme high power. That's this one right here, 100 power. Uh, that's a 40, this here in position is a 10, and on the other side here, which you cannot see, is, uh, and this is a cat here, on my lap as usual. Um, this one on the far side that you can't see is a 4 power objective, anyway. And uh, it's got a uh, rotating, 360 degree rotating head. And atop this beast, you can see the strange plastic box. That used to be a QuickCam 9000 Pro. Now it's a QuickCam 9000 Pro Rick style. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's mounted into the microscope without, notice here, without the eyepiece. What, does that look weird in infrared or what? That's heat reflective. It's metal. Fascinating. Um, this camera has been modified uh, to remove its IR filter, so some objects may look a little strange. Anyway, um, and in fact, so has this one here, because uh, I wanted it to be multi purpose, that's why I did what I did to it. Now, not only does it accept <clears throat> standard webcam lenses, but it also uh, either has or does not have an infrared filter at my whim, and it also accepts a uh, nice handmade uh, camera adapter for webcam adapter for microscope and telescope as needed. And there ye are. What am I forgetting? I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Uh, well, the end result, anyway is this. This here on my monitor screen is a copy of AMCAP by Noel What's-His-Name, and uh, I actually bought this program <laughs> after years of evading it because uh, he turned up with a version that uh, supports compression for audio and video, and of course I gotta have that if I'm gonna do huge videos. Um, especially with my recent fever for uh, YouTubing my uh, microscope vids. Anyway, have a nice look at the screen there. This is my target du soir. Uh, it is a colony of some kind of coccus bacterium. What I want to do is a time lapse overnight and see if they're actually uh, actively multiplying. I want to see if they're if that colony is still growing. It looks 
like it's growing and it seemed to come out of nowhere so my guess is it's growing fast um, but yeah and that'll make a nice little video for YouTube as well and uh, hmm what else to say I guess not much there it is um, any questions please feel free to ask that's what I'm here for that and to annoy everybody with YouTube videos of uh, bacteria and my endlessly uh, droning speeches <laughs> anyway there you are um, more later bye oh it, it, is that, bye Lucy it's, stupid cat okay we're out of here Poof.